Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Brock Upside. So, this has been a video in the works for quite a long time now. So, I was originally just going to do a new Blu ray movies video for the month of February, like I did back in January, but I decided, you know what, I think it's time to just finally lay it all out, literally, and do a complete Blu ray collection video. So, everything you see here on the table has been properly alphabetized and everything of that nature, but I also have a very large stack over here that is not yet alphabetized and it's not integrated into the pile because I either just got them or I've yet to watch it, but we'll get into those at the very end. But, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, jump right into it. So first up we have 300. The Accountant. Airplane. The Amazing Spider-Man, the only Amazing Spider-Man movie I actually kinda like. A lot of people uh, didn't like the costume of The Amazing Spider-Man, but I actually kinda liked it. American Hustle. American Psycho. American Sniper. Angry Video Game Nerd the Movie. Ant-Man. Argo, The Avengers, and Avengers Age of Ultron. Yeah, you know, I've joked about this movie in the past, but it's still enjoyable. A lot of problems, but you know, I still like it. Baby Driver. Kind of want to get this in 4K, actually. All three seasons of the 60s Batman TV show. Uh, this came in the super cool deluxe gift set but uh, I took them out of the gift set just so that way I can have them with the rest of the movies, but uh... But uh, yeah, hang on a second. And here's the complete gift set. Now, this thing is just freaking cool. And uh, I took the actual seasons out of them just so I could have them with the rest of the shelf. Moving onward, we have Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. Batman Begins. The Dark Knight with a really cool steelbook. The Dark Knight Rises. Batman v Superman, another uh, really cool steelbook. Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Batman and Harley Quinn. It was enjoyable. Not great, but it was enjoyable. Batman the Killing Joke. Uh, pretty much my opinions kind of with everybody else. Uh, everything they added in there with the Batgirl stuff is not that good, but everything that's straight from the Killing Joke graphic novel is excellent. Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders. Batman vs. Two-Faced, Adam West's last movie and his last time portraying Batman before he passed away. Rest in peace. And Batman Year One. Beauty and the Beast, the live-action movie. Birdman, Blade Runner on 4K, looks really good in 4K. The Blues Brothers, don't have Blues Brothers 2000 because I have some self-respect. Blue Crush 2, huh? I'm not entirely sure why I have this, I think it was on sale for like two bucks or something. Fiat. The Born Identity, I'm just now starting to get into these movies so I don't have any of the other ones yet. Captain America the First Avenger, Captain America the Winter Soldier, and Captain America Civil War. Uh, I just got the uh, First Avenger recently, and uh, you know what, I, I really like what Marvel's doing with their re-release Blu-rays with this really nice, uh, shiny, and just very simple slipcover. Uh, I usually hate it when people do that, but uh, uh, this time I think it looks really nice. Then we've got Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. Cars 3, I've got Cars 1 on DVD, but don't own Cars 2, because it sucks. Uh, Central Intelligence, uh, this was given to me, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's alright. It's, it's got some enjoyableness to it. A Christmas Story. Christmas Vacation. Christine. Chronicle, great Josh Trank movie. Can't say that about uh, some of his other movies, but... <clears throat> Conspiracy Theory. Collateral. Creed. Looking forward to Creed 2. 
Deadpool with the really cool Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Now, this is actually not my only copy of Deadpool. I also have the Target exclusive, not because I was just so into the movie I wanted to get two copies of it, but uh, the story behind that is uh, when it first came out I wanted to get the steelbook really badly, but uh, unfortunately when I got to Best Buy they were all out of it, so I ended up uh, settling for the Target exclusive, which it's still nice. Uh, but then eventually they got these back in stock, and when I saw them, I just immediately grabbed it, and, uh, yeah. I'm super happy I've got this version now. Dirty Dancing. Django Unchained. Doctor Strange, my very first Blu-ray review. And, Don't Breathe. Don't tell me what to do, movie. Now we've got Drive. Dumb and Dumber 2. Don't have Dumb and Dumber 1 on Blu-ray for some reason. Uh, you know, I liked it more than most people did. Uh, it's not as good as the first, but I, I still enjoy it. Uh, Duplicity. Uh, I think this is another one that was like $2 somewhere. I haven't even opened it yet. Elf. E.T. Fantastic Beasts are where to find them. Speaking of not great Josh Trank movies, you know, sometimes you gotta watch bad movies to appreciate the good ones. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Fight Club, and I can't say anything more about Fight Club. Finding Dory, I have Finding Nemo on DVD still. <gasps> Teachers don't fight in Fist Fight. The Flash Season 2, I've got Season 1 on DVD. I like the show. I kind of like Arrow better, though, to be honest. Frozen. Get Out. Ghostbusters 1 and 2. And then you got Ghostbusters 2016. <clears throat> Godzilla. Pretty good. A really entertaining movie. It was really fun to see in a theater. Uh, needs more Godzilla, so they'll probably fix that in Godzilla 2. Goodfellas. Goosebumps. Gotham Season 2, again I have the first season on DVD, and Season 3 on DVD, which I want to get them all on Blu-ray eventually. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, the first Marvel movie and first Disney movie released in 4K, and uh, yeah, it looks incredible. The Guilt Trip. Hacksaw Ridge. The Complete Halloween Collection. Hangover 1 and 2. Don't have Hangover 3. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, I still have all 8 movies on DVD and I want to get them all on Blu-ray. But uh, I think I'm just going to break down eventually and just buy like the 4K box set. Uh, Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. I've had trouble finding Hellboy 1 on Blu-ray for some reason. The Hitman's Bodyguard, extremely entertaining. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Hunger Games, Mocking, or Catching Fire. Still have the first one on DVD. Again, gotta get that one on Blu-ray as well. Uh, Hunger Games, Mocking J Part 1. Uh, I, I, I kind of like this one better than Part 2, actually. Hunger Games, Mocking J Part 2. The Incredible Hulk with a cool, uh, green case. The complete Indiana Jones collection. Doesn't want to stay in there. Interstellar. The Iron Giant. Iron Man. Iron Man 3. Give me a few more days and I'll have Iron Man 2 on Blu-ray. It. It Follows. Jeff Dunham Unhinged in Hollywood. John Wick. John Wick Chapter 2. Jumanji. The Jungle Book. Jurassic Park. The Lost World Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park 3. And Jurassic World. Justice League Dark. Kick-Ass, Kingsman the Secret Service, Kingsman the Golden Circle, 
King Kong vs. Godzilla, the original. We'll see how... We'll see how the new one holds up against that one. Kong Skull Island. La La Land. A Lego Brickumentary. The Lego Movie. The Lego Batman Movie. Lego Justice League vs. Bizarro League. This is like a 20 minute Cartoon Network special. Lego Star Wars A Pad of One Menace. Same thing. The Complete Lethal Weapon Collection. Logan. London Has Fallen. Uh, don't have Olympus Has Fallen on Blu-ray yet. I don't know why. Mad Max. The Road Warrior. Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, not, 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 not as good as the other two. Mad Max Fury Road. Man of Steel. The Matrix. And The Matrix Trilogy. Misery. The Muppets. Muppets Most Wanted, uh, I'll admit, when I first saw this movie, I didn't like it, but then, uh, after I decided to rewatch it again, I, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty good. My Week with Marilyn. The Nice Guys. Night the Museum. The Peanuts Movie. And all five Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Uh, these movies, unfortunately, they kind of rank in quality with every sequel, so the first one's the best. The second one I think is really good, uh, third one's okay, the fourth one's crap. And, uh, the fifth one I liked more than most people did. I think it's definitely an improvement over the fourth one. But the first two are definitely the best ones. Point Break. The Polar Express. Power Rangers, Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, The Revenant, the movie that finally got Leo his Oscar, Rick and Morty, seasons one and two, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and War for the Planet of the Apes, Risky Business, and Rocky V. I don't know why I only have the worst Rocky movie on Blu-ray, but I'm gonna have to do something about that. Sausage Party. Saw. Saw 2. And Jigsaw. The Shallows, the first good shark movie in about 40 years. I just realized I don't have Jaws. Okay, what the fuck is up with that shit? Spider-Man 1 and 2, I don't have Spider-Man 3, not because I think it's a bad movie, but uh, I'm deciding, I'm just waiting to find a good price on the Spider-Man Trilogy 4K box set so I can get rid of these crappy looking things. Spider-Man Homecoming. The SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. Still trying to find the first one on Blu-ray. Spotlight. Star Trek. Star Trek Beyond. I don't have Into Darkness, but I'm working on it. Rogue One. Empire Strikes Back. This is the only Star Wars movie original trilogy I have on Blu-ray because, well, it's the least ruined of the special editions, and it's also just really freaking good. Star Wars The Force Awakens. Step Brothers. Stranger Things Season 1. I hope they come out with Season 2 in this similar VHS style packaging. Suicide Squad. Sully. Super Troopers. What the crap? How could nobody call me? Swordfish. This is a terrible movie, but it's very entertaining. Tangled, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the remake from 2014. A lot of people didn't like this movie, and uh, I like it. It's stupid, but it's also called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so. Teen Titans, The Judas Contract. 
the Terminator. Don't have the other ones. I'm going to get Terminator 2 in 4K soon, though. Thor. Total Recall. Toy Story. Toy Story 2. Where the fuck is the rest of them? Toy Story 3. Toy Story of Terror. Still gotta get Toy Story the time forgot. Traffic. Training Day. Transformers, the only good one. Dark of the Moon, it's an improvement over the second one. Transformers Age of Extinction, not quite sure why I own this, I think I got suckered into buying it. Let's see, Valerian with a really cool steelbook. White House Down, the inferior White House getting taken over movie from 2014. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The Wizard of Oz. Wolf of Wall Street. The Wolverine. It's a solid movie up until the third act, like most people will tell you. Wonder. Wonder Woman. X-Files Season 1. X-Files Season 10. I really want to get the, uh, the box set with all of them. Let's see. X-Men. X2. X-Men The Last Stand, uh, I don't think this is as bad as everybody says it is, but uh, it's definitely not as good as 1 and 2. X-Men Origins Wolverine, terrible movie, but you know, gotta have all of them. X-Men First Class, X-Men Days of Future Past, and The Rogue Cut. X-Men Apocalypse, I still don't understand why everyone's problem with this movie is. It's, it's good. And... Zootopia. So, that's the end of everything that's been properly alphabetized. Now we're just gonna go through everything that's yet to be properly put on the shelf and organized and all that. So, first up we have Thor The Dark World. Whiplash. Not my fucking tempo. The Truman Show. Ex Machina, Equilibrium, Homeland seasons one and two. Have never seen the show, but I got these for really good. Got these for a really good price at Goodwill. Lady and the Tramp, Coco. Make sure to check out my recent review of this. Speed, Nightcrawler. Freaking love this movie. The Crow. Trumbo, Mission Impossible, The Green Mile and Forrest Gump, Mission Impossible 3, I don't have 2, 4, and 5 yet, just because these I got for super good price, Lara Croft Tomb Raider, Gravity, The Usual Suspects, the X-Files, I want to believe. The second X-Files movie. Still trying to find uh, Fight the Future, but it's so expensive every time I find it. Gran Torino. Inglorious Bastards. Valkyrie. Blazing Saddles. Tomorrowland. Schindler's List. Patriot's Day, Cake, never seen it, Sicario, The Warriors, Paranoia, this movie is terrible, The Blair Witch Project, Mad Max Fury Road, Black and Chrome Edition, really excited to check it out in black and white, The Independence Day Collection, The Magnificent Seven Remake. I want to get the original as well. Labyrinth. The Lord of the Rings Trilogy. And, last but not least, The Hateful Eight. Well, that's it.
This is every Blu-ray in my collection, and this is not even including all the DVDs I have either, so we'll probably get into that some other time. But anyway, if you guys have a Blu-ray collection, tell me about some of the cool stuff you have down below, and we'll see you on the Brackups.